Sweetians, welcome back to Sweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Sweetieville. Today we are back with another build with me and this one is a home that I have done a long time ago. It's um, a spring sim shell challenge and I really loved how it turned out so I wanted to go ahead and incorporate this into my collection. So we are going ahead and visiting it. I'd never put it up on my gallery, so it'll be up on there now for you. Um, I do love how this to home turned out. Tome, yeah. And um, this home has five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. It is a generational home as I have grandma's bedroom on the ground floor and the master bedrooms on the second floor. Um, the home even has an office with an open concept living, dining, and kitchen area, as you can see. The backyard to this home is just, I mean, spectacular. I really loved how it turned out. Um, next, we're going into the little office room here. So it's not huge, but it is big enough to get the job done. This is grandma's bedroom down below. She has a nice big area and a little sitting area for herself so she can sit and read books or knit or whatever she wants to do over there. She has an attached bathroom as well and so she doesn't have to go far if she doesn't want to. She wants some time to herself and then some more of the open concept pictures going on upstairs now. We enter into the hallway which then takes us into the master bedroom which is still really good size for being on the second floor. We have an attached master bathroom for it. Like I said, I think this home turned out absolutely beautiful. I put a lot of effort into it and I think it really shows. Unfortunately, I didn't get it done in time for the contest. It does have a laundry room in this home. So if you have laundry, you'll have to do it. If you don't have laundry, you have an extra room, could be a nursery. Then I did this room for like a teenage girl. She has a little desk area here and like a little vanity section over here. So it works out well. Then there's a Jack and Jill bathroom. So you have the sink in one area with all their goodies and then the shower and the toilet in a second room. And it is attached to her brother's room. This one I did for someone who likes to like game and music and play void critters and like just a bunch of different stuff. He's like into a lot of things, but I thought it turned out really well as well. And then you have a toddler's room down over here. It's got a nice little play area off of the room with everything they would need in there for them. And then this last bed room here will take us into the bathroom that the whole upstairs would share. So there's plenty of bathrooms in here, plenty of rooms. This is a huge house. For your sims to enjoy. Uh, next should be the floor plan screenshots for you. I know I forgot them a few times so I'm trying to remember to get them in there as well. So for those of you that like the floor plan shots you got them. If you'd like to download this home you can search it by hashtag Zweetieville. That's Z-W-E-E-T-I-E-V-I-L-L-E -E -E -E, and is up on the gallery for 167. 482. And until next time, all my Zweetians out there, have a Zweetie-licious day. Bye, guys!